Hi, it's Jennifer from Manifesting Motherhood. So today I just wanted to talk about forgiveness. Forgiveness is a beautiful, beautiful thing. It's probably also one of the hardest things because when someone hurts you physically, mentally, with words, whatever it is, it cuts us deep, especially if it's someone that we truly care about, that we love, that we feel was supposed to be there for whatever, whether it's a friend, that suddenly stop talking to you for no reason or reasons that you don't know. Um, or a coworker that, I don't know, did something, a parent that's hurt you, a sibling, um, or a spouse. So I was doing some cleaning up in my room and I have 17 gazillion books. And to-do list, bucket list, Shopping list, finances, get out of debt, doodles. Um, this one was used for a ton of things. Um, my disability information, which ended up going somewhere else. Um, passwords, doctors, and then it turned into, hold on, I know I saw it here somewhere. My to-do list my credit score to get my credit score up, um, phone calls I have to make. I'm so excited. I know you're just like, please tell us more, Jennifer. I will. Then it turned into food that I was eating to uh, track my glucose levels. And then it turned into a book for Julian on how to do certain crafts. So, because every summer I make him a book of things to do, and every summer he does about half of it. And it's not easy to get him to do it. But as I was thumbing through it, I found the I Forgive You page. So, I'm not going to show you what's on here. It's very personal, not only to me, but this was to my ex-husband. And leaving the marriage, being in the marriage, um, was very painful. So even though we weren't a couple, like we didn't do couple things, I would say, so I left there in 2018, I would say maybe 2015, 2014, whatever. I don't, I don't even know. That's how long we just haven't been whatever. Um, we went to marriage counseling and he didn't like that things were put back on him. Um, and... I didn't, I just, I didn't see the point because I no longer wanted to be in the marriage and neither did he. So, um, but I was still very angry. Our truths are different. We don't see things the same way, um, which is, you know, which is life. Two people can be in the same room, watch the same movie and have two different outcomes of what they saw, how they experienced it. So our marriage, we were on such different pages, there's no way it could have been saved. So what I did was I wrote in my book um, all the things I forgive him for because I was truly, truly hurt. I was disappointed. I was upset. I was sad. I was mad. I was angry. Sometimes I felt bitter, like I put so much into this relationship and this marriage. I worked so hard, physically, mentally, emotionally. I raised our son um, pretty much alone. And I worked two jobs and whatever, and he doesn't see the value in that, which is a whole other thing. Um, I found things, it's when you're angry or when you're, it's not even anger or upset or bitter, I was disappointed. I was so disappointed in who I felt he became. And I was disappointed in the reality of what our marriage was. I was disappointed at his lack of concern for our marriage. Um, and I was disappointed at how easily he checked out of our marriage. So... I started thinking of everything that he's ever done. Um, you know, we separated before for other reasons and blah, blah, blah. 
And I came up with everything because I needed to get everything out because I was moving out. I was moving on. I didn't want to be married anymore. He didn't want to be married to me anymore. It was mutual, you know? And I was trying to form some kind of relationship because we still have Julian. And um, at times, he needs someone on his side with Julian because uh, that's a whole nother video. Anyway, so I went through everything from our wedding day, um, things that he said to me that were so hurtful that I didn't even want to go on with the marriage because the wedding day his words hurt me so deeply but I moved on um, things from when I had a miscarriage uh, how I felt and things um, things that he did to me things that ways he made me feel and maybe he doesn't even know how he made me feel because um, he doesn't take a lot of responsibility for the hurt, which is something I have in here. I, I forgive him for that, you know. Um, I mean, even little things, not knowing where things go, even though we lived in that house for 14 years. Um, a lot of things. Um, I felt very um, emotionally, financially and um, mentally abused in our relationship. Um, it's how I felt. Um, it's my truth. And I forgave him for everything. Does he care? And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 11, 12, 13, 15 pages of what I forgive him for. I wrote everything, everything that hurt me, that, that I needed to get out, that he was not interested in hearing about, that he was not interested in um, admitting to, that he was not interested in apologizing for. Um, things that he just, you know, whatever, whatever, or didn't happen, or whatever it was. So I have 13 pages of things I forgive him for. And now that I found this book, I probably will add a couple more things because, you know, sometimes we have a great relationship and sometimes we don't. And a lot of what we don't has to do with Julian and we um, don't see eye to eye on a lot of things dealing with Julian. Um... So there are some things maybe I can add in here. Uh, but I did it not for him. I did it for me. Because my resentment towards him was growing. Every time he did something, it was like adding a penny to the pile. Adding a penny to the pile that was just holding me down. So the forgiveness was totally for myself. I hate to use the word selfish because um, it has such a, a negative... It has such a negative view of the word. You know, someone's selfish, it's usually a bad thing. But this forgiving was all for me. It was for no one else, no one else, only me. If he were to read these 13 pages, I don't think he would give a crap. And that's okay, because this is my journey. This is my forgiveness. Um... There are some things in here that he probably doesn't even know that or remember that happened and I don't know. Um, and some things to me were more serious than they were to him. And some things were more hurtful than probably he even realized or even cares. So um, all of this was for me. All of this was for me. I needed to let it go. After I did my list, I did Reiki over myself. I did Reiki over my list. I did Reiki specifically for my heart and my throat. And 
I needed to let it all go. It's serving no purpose but to weigh me down, help keep me sick, help keep me unbalanced. So I got rid of it. So with that, I also did a thank you. Thank you to him because I thanked him for Julian, um, for a great trip when we went to California, um, for never, oh, okay, putting all the Ikea stuff together, um, taking out the garbage without having to be asked, and for letting me have dark wood in our apartment which he likes light wood, although his apartment now is all dark wood. I just want to point that out. Um, and he always cleaned up after any party or barbecue. I didn't have to ask. He came out there and he took care of everything. So, and there are other things on here that are more personal, but I'm not going to go over. And then I have, I forgive me. I forgive. I forgive me. I think it's going to end up being bad. Oh, no, it's not bad. It's, woo, woo, you can read it. So I forgive myself. So this all actually happened because I went into the church one day. I was going to do something else, and I ended up being called to the church, our old church, Our Lady of Lords. And I went in, and something about the church a lot of times brings me to tears. And I just started crying, and on there it said, um, I don't even remember. I'm not a good churcher, so I don't even remember but it says something about Jesus forgiving. Jesus forgives the sinners as we should forgive the sinners. And I was like, you know what? I forgive myself. I'm a sinner. And I forgive myself. I sin against myself. And I'm sorry. And I accept my apology. And I forgive myself. So I have things on here. I forgive me for moving out of high school. For not budgeting correctly. Um, for not taking care of myself, for trying to kill myself, um, uh, for crying in front of Julian, for constantly being sick, because that's not, for not following through on things, for abusive relationships I had, I, I forgive myself for my anxiety and depression, like, um, for calling myself a loser, for always putting myself down, um, befriending the wrong people and trusting them and trusting people too easily and telling them too much about me before I find out that they're toxic. Um, I forgive myself for letting laundry pile up. These are things that maybe some people hear it and it's just like, what? Really? These are things that I was beat down about. And these are things that I beat myself down about. And these are things that, um, these are things that I feel bad about. I feel bad about when I have the laundry piled up and I'm not doing it. And I feel like I'm not being productive. Growing up, we weren't allowed to have those days off where you stay in bed past a certain time. You needed to be up. You needed to be productive, you needed to be in school, you needed to be working, and if you weren't, you needed to be doing something around the house. There was no such thing as laying in bed past like 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. You were being wasteful. So, I apologize to myself for it and I forgive myself for it. Um, I forgive myself for hating small talk. I hate fucking small talk. I fucking hate it. I hate it. And it makes me not want to be around people. It makes me not want to go out places. So I'm like, mm, oh. <laughs> oh my, oh my God. I fucking hate it. Okay. Um, I forgive myself for stress eating. It's what I do. It's a behavior that I have. Uh, and I'm trying to work on it and fix it. And it's taken me many years. To identify it, it's taken me years to work on it. Still working on it, you know, whatever. Um, I forgive myself for lost friendships. I forgive myself for making Julian cry. As a parent, I feel... As a parent, I felt like I 
was never doing enough. I could always do better. There was always more to do. Um, whatever. But in reality, I'm a, I'm a parent. I'm a work in progress. It's something I've never done before. Something I don't know how to do. And it's something I do by myself. And um, growing up, I didn't have the best teacher for parenting. So I'm forging my own way. So I forgive myself. Um, I forgive myself for things like that. Um, I forgive myself for giving up. I forgive myself for wanting to nap, even if I did nothing all day. I forgive myself for being tired. Um, I forgive myself for always having to fight what I want and the guilt that comes with it. Um, I forgive myself for not putting myself first. I forgive myself for my anger towards Serge. Um, for sending a text to my friend that I didn't want to send. Uh, I'm not going to get into that. Um, I forgive myself for feeling worthless at times. And then I have a thank you thing for myself. So my list to myself is... like four and a half pages um, and then I have a thank you thank you for always finding something positive for being a great mom overall for knowing how to put others needs first for never giving up for being silly for making Julianne laugh for helping where I can for being a good daughter for being an awesome friend, um, for keeping track of my medications, because a long time I didn't do that because I just didn't give a fuck. Um, for being such a hard worker, for helping others. There's a lot of things. It makes me very emotional. Um, things that I put on myself, um, that I forgive myself for, I just keep going back to it. And I need to read this more and forgive myself more. Just like I said, there are extra pages for my ex. There's a ton of extra pages for myself. And not only for that, but for to be thankful for. Um, so this is basically just to let you know that it is okay to not ask for forgiveness I don't think that's what I'm saying. It's okay to have someone not ask you for forgiveness and still forgive them. That's what I'm trying to say. And I'm not even going to edit that out. So, um, I know my ex will never ask me for forgiveness for the 13 pages, but I forgive him anyway, because if I don't, it's not hurting him at all because he doesn't give a shit, but it's hurting me. Top of that, forgiving myself. I probably have a ton more things to forgive myself for that I'm holding on to. I need to just let it go. Um, and it hurts. It hurts because it's all true things that I either feel, see, know, think about myself, about an ex, about whatever. And it hurts because it forces you to really dig into it and try to figure out what it is that's in there, you know? Once you get it out, once you do a forgiveness, write it down. I sometimes, you could burn it. You could do, I don't know, a ritual over it. You could put sage over it. You can do Reiki over it, crystals on it, um, whatever, whatever you want to do on it. But I totally, um, recommend doing this and just forgiving because um, life is hard and there's enough stuff to worry about without holding on to uh, energy that doesn't um, I see you energy that doesn't serve you negative energy that doesn't serve you in a positive way negative energy will never serve you in a positive way uh, ask yourself for forgiveness and make sure you give it to yourself because no one is harder on ourselves than we are 
and no one expects more of us than we do. And um, sometimes things aren't realistic, you know. Um, some of the things that I wrote in there, you know, trying to forgive myself for my health or whatever, it, this is what it is, and I'm doing the best I can. And I have to remind myself of that often, and I do. And um, I hope you do too, and I hope you make your list. And if you do, if you want to comment um, below, or if you want to contact me, you can always email me at manifestingmotherhood at gmail.com. Um, and that's it. I wish you a day, a week, a month, and a year of loving life and um, goodwill. <laughs>